Hey guys, this is Justin from survivalreviews.com. Today what we're going to do is something a little bit different. Usually we review a single knife at a time. Today we're actually going to look at two knives that are the same knife from the same manufacturer but different designs. This is the newer Recon 1 design. It's the newer model that they're now selling. And we're also going to look at the older or previous design Recon 1 knife. And we're going to compare and contrast each one. First thing that you're going to notice looking at the new Recon 1. So let me put the older one away. Looking at the newer Recon 1, some of the specs on this knife, we have a 4 inch long blade. Uh, the blade thickness overall is 3.5 millimeters across the widest point of the blade. The overall length of the knife is going to be 9 and 3 eighths inches. As you can see here, it's a uh, Stainless steel with a black Teflon coating. The uh, steel is the AUS 8A stainless steel. Very good steel for knives. And the weight of the knife overall is 5.3 ounces. The handle is going to be 5 and 3 eighths inches long. If we measure that, it's going to be a little bit above 5 eighths of an inch. Or five and three eighths of an inch sorry the handles constructed from G10 and I'll tell you a little bit more about G10 in a little bit the pocket clip that's on the knife is an ambidextrous stainless steel pocket clip slash belt clip it's also um, coated with the black Teflon coating and the locking technology is actually called the triad lock so you depress it here knife closes to extend the knife uh, you pull on the blade but this is the actual triad locking mechanism and I'll cover more on that in a second now let's move over to the older style Recon 1 this is actually the newer Recon 1 is not my knife it is a loner knife for the purpose of this review but this knife the older Recon 1 is my knife. This is a knife that I've had for um, a little bit over a year, almost two years, I guess. And it's been a very, very good knife. I like the knife a lot. It's It's seen some heavy usage. I don't know if you guys can see the the scratching on the blade there is you know some minor scratching on the blade some of the coating has come off this is the older recon one style though this style is no longer made by cold steel it's been replaced by the newer recon one design now this knife the blade length is four inches just like the newer style recon one the blade thickness at its thickest point is going to be 3.5 millimeters across here. The overall length of the knife is 9 and 3 eighths of an inch. So the size of the newer Recon 1 and the older Recon 1 is almost, they're almost identical. I'm trying to get these in the frame. If I lay those side by side, they're they're pretty much identical there are however quite a few changes and we'll go over the changes here in a bit and back to the older Recon 1 style it is the same Japanese AUS 8A stainless steel same black Teflon coating the weight of this knife though it's actually 0.3 um, ounces heavier than the newer Recon 1 and I believe it's heavier because of the stainless steel inserts. There's actually 
some stainless steel inserts inside of this knife whereas the handle on the newer Recon 1 is only G10 no stainless steel inserts inside there I've got a flashlight I may have to use that in a second here the older Recon 1 has an ambidextrous pocket clip just like the newer model you can see that here let's see does that help uh, maybe not there's the pocket clip you know it might be a little hard to see um, as you can see the pocket clip has been bent up a little bit it's not flush with the handle and that's because I found the existing pocket clip on this knife to be rather tight so I actually had to bend it up a little bit so it would fit on my pocket easier as I carried it the um, lock on this older version of the Recon 1 is called the Ultra Lock which is a cold steel license technology from Benchmade and we'll cover that here in a little bit but this is what we're going to do today guys we're going to compare and contrast the older style Recon 1 with the newer style Recon 1 both excellent excellent knives good tactical folders great for self defense alright so let's get into a little bit of what the differences are between these knives if you look at if you look at the older Recon 1 the first thing you're going to notice is that it has the this roller lock this ultra lock now <clears throat> those of us that know a lot about knives know that this ultra lock device is something we saw for that we've seen for quite some time on the Benchmade knives that feature the Axis um, the Axis Benchmade lock and Axis is actually a patented Benchmade exclusive lock it's really been kind of turning heads and winning fans ever since its introduction it is a 100% ambidextrous design a lot of people really like it and Axis gets its function from a hardened steel bar which is this bar here it actually goes all the way through the knife this is the steel bar on each side <clears throat> and this hardened steel bar actually rides forward and back in a slot machined into both steel liners so if I pull this back you'll see that the blade drops okay that that little hardened steel bar travels between these channels here the bar extends to both sides of the knife as I said before spanning the liners and is positioned over the rear of the blade so the blade actually comes down into the handle like this the hardened steel bar sits in the handle through the inserts and through the blade what happens here is that this hardened steel bar engages a ramped tang portion of the knife blade when it is opened two omega style springs it's going to be very very difficult to see these I'll try to point them out though the spring let me go from this angle you can just see the little silver glint of it it's really hard to see I apologize but these <clears throat> those little springs they're called Omega style springs there's one on each liner um, they give the locking bar its inertia to engage the knife tang and as a result the tang is wedged sol solidly between a sizable stop pin and the axis bar itself once again cold steel called this lock the ultra lock and has since stopped using it in the recon one knife the rumor on the street is that cold steel grew tired of having to license this locking technology from Benchmade and that's why they've discontinued it however we plan to reach out to Cold Steel for an official statement on this matter definitely stay tuned for the future video on that